Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at an orbit stabilizer theorem. Now, what does this theorem tell us? It obviously involves the orbit of some point within a group and it also involves stabilizer of some point within a group. So here, this theorem tells us that if G is given to be finite group of permutations of a some set S, then if we take some element i from s now some set cont it contains some numbers like this right now based on these numbers we can have various permutations so we collect all those permutations and we write it in group g right and we here we have the operation as composition Th so this forms the group of permutations where the permutations are defined on this set right they are functions which maps this set to itself then we would say for, for any i which is a member of this s uh, the orbit uh, the order of the group g would, would be given by the product of the order of the orbit of that element under g and the order of stabilizer of that element under g so let's first of all verify this thing and then we'll be moving on to its proof so for the uh, verification here uh, remember we have studied about this example where s was given to be a set consisting of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 uh, numbers digits and based on this set s we are defining certain permutations say phi such that the group g is uh, defined like this the permutations are first one is the identity permutation then this is the permutation then this is the third permutation fourth permutation fifth permutation and sixth permutation right so we in total we have six permutations so what is the order of the group g the order of the group g is equal to six in this particular case right now we wanted to justify that whether this six is obtained when we fix some i for i is equal to one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 for all the values of i is this relation is this equation follows or not so here we need to see that whether for i e, for each of these i we have the order of the orbit and the order of the stabilizer equal to the order of the group g or not right so this is our aim here okay so let's move forward we have previously uh, have learned about how we can calculate the order of the orbit of each of the elements and the stabilizer of each of the elements right so this is the same thing that we have done in the previous videos now here you see for the element one i is equal to one in this case the orbit contains three elements so therefore its order is three similarly the stabilizer here contains two permutations right so therefore it has order two right and when you see when you multiply the order of orbit uh, for the element one with the order of the stabilizer for the element one you see it is three into two which is six and this is same as the order of g and this is what we wanted to prove so that means this uh, theorem is verified when i is taken as one in all the other cases you see we have the same digits here for the order of stabilizer and for the order of orbit right so you see when you multiply this and this left hand side and right hand side together you would get the value as 6 and which is the order of our group and similarly for 7, eight, uh, seven and 8 the order of orbit is 2 and the order of stabilizer is 3 in both the cases so therefore 2 into 3 is again 6 which is the order of the group so in all the above cases the order of the group G is equal to the order of the orbit multiplied with the order of the stabilizer and this is what we wanted to verify in this particular case so hence this orbit stabilizer th theorem has been verified in the next video we shall be looking at the proof of this theorem well that is it for this video thank you for watching